A gear train is made up of five spur gears as shown in the figure. Gear 2 is driver and gear 6 is driven member. N2, N3, N4, N5 and N6 represent number of teeth on the gears 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 respectively. The gear which acts as idler is R. Guys, this question is from gears and gear trains in the subject theory of machines. Let's see the solution. For the given gear train, the velocity ratio can be determined in terms of number of teeth on the gears as omega 2 by omega 6 is equal to n3 by n2 into n5 by n4 into n6 by n5 that gives us n3 into n6 by n2 into n4. Since the number of teeth on gear 5 does not appear in the velocity ratio, only gear 5 is the idler gear for the given arrangement of gear train. Please note that idler gears are used for changing the direction in gear trains. Idler gears are used in gear trains to achieve the required direction of rotation for the output shaft. Idler gears do not change the velocity ratio or torques being transmitted and idler gears serve the purpose of bridging the gap between input and output shafts if the center distance is too large. Hence, for this question, the correct answer is option C.